all our own Friday the 9th of December. I wonder what you have planned for today. Whatever it is, may the Lord be with you. Our opening prayer. God of the living word, open our ears to your message. Open our eyes to see your wonders. Open our hearts to experience your love and open our minds to your wisdom today and every day. Amen. Today's readings are Psalm 85 and Isaiah chapter 48, verses 12 to 22. In all of the gloomy news that surround at present, I found my spirit lifted by the obvious joy of Ukrainians when their town or village is liberated from Russian control. The welcome the Ukrainian troops receive is bordering on the euphoric. Time and again, people say to the troops, I just knew that you'd come. However, we know that some Ukrainians have been taken from places like Mariupol and resettled into Russia. Great joy is being experienced by people in those Ukrainian towns which have been liberated. But how much greater will the joy be when people are repatriated from Russia back into Ukraine? I suspect that at present, those people are living in hope, but can't really see how this repatriation could take place. Yet this unlikely scenario of repatriation is what is going to happen for God's people, despite the fact that they've been conquered by a mighty empire. We know that God has already told them that he has a plan for their return. I suspect that the people have their doubts about how this could possibly happen. Maybe even a bit of skepticism crept in. However, unlikely as it may seem, it's actually going to happen. Except God isn't going to tell them how or provide any details. The people will just have to trust in faith and hope. Our next prayer. Almighty God, whose Son Jesus Christ is the true vine, help us to make space for you in our lives, to abide in you as you abide in us. Give us grace to grow as Christians in our community, to follow Jesus' example and listen to your call that through our words and actions we might bear fruit and show the hope and joy of Jesus Christ to the world around. Today's prayer points all link into a theme of oppression. Firstly, let's pray for an end of all forms of oppression. Pray that truth is heard and notice taken of it, and pray for all victims of any form of abuse. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Don't forget that tomorrow is the carol uh, walking, starting here at St. Aidan's at 12.30. And we're going to be walking up to Bank Top via St. Luke's to Blackburn Baptist. Do wrap up warmly and be in good voice. And you only have to walk as far as you feel able. If you just want to turn up at the church and sing a carol, it'll 
be great to wait for you. And our blessing, the peace of God which passes all understanding, a peace which the world cannot give, be in your hearts and minds, in your home and your communities, and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be with you and your loved ones today and always.